She's just beautiful. What an incredible piece of machinery. She'll do zero to 100 in three seconds flat, and I've got the keys in my pocket. It's been a long, hard haul getting here. But was it worth it? Was it really worth it? I was pretty sure it would be. That first day in Pensacola. Hey, which way to Aviation Officer Candidate School? Take a left at the Y and check into Building 626. Thanks. Pensacola. Hey, maybe I'll get my Tomcat today. Hmm, didn't know they had Marines stationed here. Hiya, Sarge. Where do I check in to fly? Roll, Cannon! This is Gunner Sergeant Hall, United States Marine Corps, Non-Commissioned Officer Charge, Tally One! I'm gonna tell you what there, Candidate. You don't speak to me unless you're at the position of attention. That is, your heels are together, your feet are at a 45-degree angle, your thumbs are on your trousers seats, your fingers are curled, your shoulders are rolled back, and your eyeballs are straight to the front! Hey, wait a second, I... Shut up! I'll tell you what there, Candidate. You don't speak unless you're spoken to. You don't do anything around here unless I tell you to do it. You understand me? Yes, sir. Now, what is your name? I am, uh, John Macklin, and I... No! No, Cannon! I will tell he you He must be mistaking me for someone else. Doesn't he know I'm an aviation officer candidate? And the first one out of your mouth yeah, be he knows it. Now, what is your name? Sir, this candidate's name is... No! No! You are not loud enough! No, you are not loud enough! You will speak in a loud and distinct voice! You got that? Yes, sir! I just told you, Cannon! What difference does it make how I talk? Your heels will be together. Foxfire, this is 201. Have BLC failure. Request emergency landing. Over. On the flight deck, we have a Tomcat in trouble. Rig the barricade. Rig the barricade. My name is Gunnery Sergeant Holt. I'm your drill instructor for the next 14 weeks here at Aviation Officer Canada School. You will obey orders quickly and to the best of your ability, and you will not question those orders at any time. You will not question my orders at any time, candidates. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you what I have They tell me I got to have a college education to fly, then this Neanderthal tells me I'm not supposed to ask questions. What kind of crap is that? And your palm turned in the wrong direction. Tomcat off cat one, eject, eject, eject. Listen, when the air boss hollers, punch out, you don't ask questions. Turn around. Turn around. I said turn around! Back up. Back up! Now you keep your eyeballs on me and you pay attention, candidates, because I just spent 45 minutes explaining to you the proper way to do an office entry, and all we're doing is screwing it up. Now I'm going to show you one more time, and you better get it right. Now when you approach my office here, candidates, you will approach it so that your right shoulder remains four inches from this bulkhead at all times. You will march up here, and you will halt so that your toes are on line with the entranceway to my hatch. Get your eyeballs down there on my feet. See that my toes are on line with the entranceway to this hatch. At this time, once your uniform is squared away and you have ensured that it is, you will take one step forward. You will halt and you will execute a right face. Get your eyeballs up here on me. You better engage your little brain housing group and start thinking. Now, now what kind of Mickey Mouse precision is this? What's all this nonsense got to do with flying? At this time, candidates, Flight quarters, flight quarters, man, all flight quarters stations. A-O-C-S, A-O-C-S, lefty right, left, lefty right, left. You'll get three sets of whites, and a shirt with it, and four sets of khakis. Four sets of khakis for you? Working blues. Three sets of blues. And your shoes. Get over here, candidates. Get over here quickly. Hurry up, hurry up. You don't have all day. Get your eyeballs down here. Sir. Now, candidates, when you're preparing for inspection, you're going to be folding your skivvies. And at all times, candidates, you will fold these skivvies exactly six inches by six inches. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I'm talking attention to detail here, candidates. They will be exact. Six inches? Oh, wow. This is ridiculous. So it's a little off. Who cares? And six inches horizontally. Is that understood? Okay, number two. Close it up a bit. Let's get it in a little tighter. I tell you what, you cannons probably think you're ready for inspection, but so far none of you have been. And neither are you, Macklin. Neither are you. Look at this thing. Look at it, Macklin. 
Look at it. Now you probably think you did a good job, huh? But you didn't. Square Damn it, this is degrading. Away. I came here to fly, not to detail the soles of my shoes. The top and the bottom. Sooner or later it's gonna come to you, Macklin. Sooner or later it's gonna come to you. We're talking about attention to detail here, Macklin. We're talking about the difference between life and death, Macklin. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. Petty Officer Johnson, did you notice the loose screw in the landing gear? That's it. How about taking care of it? Let's go, Sharp. Let's go, Newman. Push it. Push it wasn't it. that I was particularly dumb, but it did take a while to catch on to what it's go, all about. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, there's no one who's going to explain it to you. Like PT. You wonder why the heavy emphasis on physical training. Go, 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 well, go, I guess you go, won't really go. understand it until you're strapped into a high-performance aircraft. Only a guy in top shape can take this kind of punishment. And you wonder why there's so much stress on teamwork. Sure, we're all individuals. We've been taught that from the cradle. But here, if one guy's in trouble, hell, we're all in trouble. That's a tough point to get across, but it's the backbone of aviation. Until we learn about teamwork. What? How about George Macklin? How about George Macklin? Have you got any attention to detail? No! No, your wreck is screwed up! I've told you over and over again, Macklin, when one's screwed up, we're all screwed up! We've got to learn to function as a team, to help each other, even if all we're allowed to offer at times is encouragement. Now, don't get the idea that it's all sweat and marching. We actually spend about half our time in class. But you keep asking yourself if it's worth it. I mean, you got to put up with an awful lot of crap. Sure, if a guy wants to fly, he can stay a civilian. In three years, he'd get maybe a few hundred hours and a Cessna, if he could afford it. But in the Navy, you'll probably log up to a thousand hours in the same length of time and get paid for all of them. Plus, getting the finest flight training and most advanced aircraft in the entire world. And go ahead and lean back. We'll hook you up with Cokes for you. Now, why don't you go ahead, tighten them down, two hands each strap. Pat down your D-ring. On the count of eject, I want you to bring the face curtain down and bury it. Eject, eject, eject. But you gotta hang in there, because it's weeks of pure pressure before you even touch an aircraft. Now, candidates, at this time, I have taught you inspection arms. You are now standing at the position of port arms, and it is at this... What are you doing, Macklin? What are you doing, Macklin? Why are you in the area, Macklin? Why are you in the area? I guess you don't need to learn what I'm teaching you here. I'll tell you what, Macklin. You ain't got no concentration whatsoever. No. After a few weeks, a strange thing happens. Without being aware of it, you begin to get with the program. It usually starts small. Get him, Macklin. Get him. Like one of your roommates polishing everyone's shoes because he's good at it. This one looks pretty squared away. Let's go work on your rack, Apple. All right. Maybe a couple of other guys are making up all the racks because they do a better job. And you, you're shining everyone's brass. You don't even realize it, but you're a team. And in a weird, perverse sort of way, it starts being fun. You've made up your mind that you're not going to let these guys grind you down. Here he comes. Lock it up. Left, right, left. Are we ready, zero seven? Yes, sir. Are we motivated? Yes, sir. Are we dedicated? Yes, sir. And you begin to wonder what happened to the caveman you met the first day. Well, I'll tell you what, there, Macklin. Ten weeks ago, this way. And then finally, Today, unbelievably, you're ready for flight training. The guys that chose to fly as navigators, radar, or electronics officers begin a basic course of naval flight officer training. Coming up, coming up and on glide path, on course. The rest of us, the guys that are going to be pilots, we start primary flight training. Now, whether you fly props, jets, or helicopters, depends on your preference, your individual performance, and the needs of the service.
So, is it worth it? Well, every man's got to decide for himself. Ensign Macklin, good morning, sir. Congratulations. As for me, the answer is yes. No, not yes, but hell yes.